Good morning, it's Saturday, and you know what that means, it's match day at home. And our first stop is Cherry's Calf. Outside the Cherries Cafe with Howard and Thomas. Yeah. How are you, gents? Good. How are you feeling about the game today? Yeah. Good. Two yeah. one. Two one. Two to win. Oh, you go for that's good. So that'd be a good reaction that we need. Um, yeah. Who's going to be scoring for us today? Uh, Dom, Dom and Chris. 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 Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And it's the first match since Nonny's passing, so we yeah. need to be loud yeah. as hell, don't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, boys. Let's do Come it. Come on. And the legend Al Guard, how are you, mate? I'm fine this morning, mate. Good. Good. Coventry City today. We need a reaction, don't we, eh? We need a reaction. The weather with the wind and the cold is going to make it um, interesting, along with uh, us missing a few defenders and Coventry with a few players out. Yeah. I think we're in for a high scoring game, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Right, put a, put a score line on it then. It's, it's 3 2. It's 5 two. goals. It's on my coupon. Do you want to see the coupon? Yeah, honestly. 3, three 2 pays me 90 quid. Pays for my weekend. There we Come go. 3-2. You heard it here first. Cheers out. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, what to do, mate? Tell you what, as soon as we leave the cricketers, mate, blowy. Oh, just a bit, mate. Yeah. Absolute gale. Blowing a gale plant out here today. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. Blowing a gale, sorry. I should have said that. Uh, um, yeah. Mate, it's, uh, it's a very cold day. Feels like one degree out here. This is the match day vlog, mate. It is indeed. A uh, little bit little bit down because it's just all Fulham take the lead early on oh. against Preston, which is frustrating. But do our job, I'll be happy, mate. That's all that matters. But yeah, we'll be fine. There'll be a reaction today, surely. Uh, yeah, I'll back us today. I hope so. Right, so we've had breakfast at the Cherries Calf, which was very, very nice. Uh, I had the Premiership breakfast. That's what Lucy had as well. Tom went for the the Cherries breakfast. Yeah, with... yeah. I don't, I don't like to go Premiership until we're there. You know, I'm quite a superstitious guy. So yeah, just went for the Cherries one today. Very nice. And then a nice pint at the Cricketers. But it's all about mixing up today. So we're going to go to the Bell, uh, have a drink there, and then I'm in the Ted McDougall stand today. Should be good. But Tom, I take it you're sat in the in the usual. Steve Fletcher stand, usual spot, mate. But yeah, get it pumping in there with you today. Let's, I want to get a bit of atmosphere going there. It's been a bit, a bit weak lately, so let's get it bouncing. <laughs> Just watching the Arsenal Newcastle game. It's lunchtime. We're at the Bell now, by the way. Um, and how hard is it for you to see Eddie? Well, maybe not Jason. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. He's my mate. Um, it's, it's it's weird, isn't it? Seeing both on the touchline. Good to see Eddie back in the game, of course. But it is odd. And yeah, but there's there's part of me that does does want him to to get a result today. You know, just for him, really. But um, yeah, it's weird to, weird to see. We'd see him on the touchline. Just a player went down there, but it won't phrase us on that moment. You said earlier that uh, the stats were like 82 percent possession or something earlier in the game at least. Anyway, yeah, Arsenal oh. dominating. I mean, Newcastle have got into a little bit, but Arsenal in control. But I guess Eddie would be playing counter attack, wouldn't he, with the uh, pace on the break? They could expect Arsenal to have the ball, but he could go either way this one. It could do with getting a result, mate. Yeah. The Norwich winning last week, so interesting. But interesting to see if this is, looks like an Eddie side, you know? Yeah, we will see. I spy with my little eye something beginning with J. Jordan Zamora. <laughs> oh, jukebox, jukebox. Do you reckon they got Chris Manning with that? Do you reckon? If they're a decent partner, I'll tell you. I'm going to go have a look. Oh, it's a 
it's a nice little one. Right, we're going for um, search. Search by artist. How do you spell Manning? Double N. Double N. I-N-G. God, fuck me. Mate, Bob Manning. Now, who the hell is Bullshit, absolutely bullshit. I miss the sour, just want to say I love sour and how much it does for the channel, you know? It's really saved me. It really saved me during the, the lockdown and stuff. And I'm just missing. Do you, do you feel the same, Lucy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It means, it means a lot to it. To the, it's been at the bar a long time. I miss him already. And we're thirsty. Mm -hmm. Thirsty. Very thirsty. Very thirsty. Finally. What? Maybe I have to take control of the vlog. Yeah. Have you? Uh, that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. We're doing right. All over it. The teams are in and we've got a debutant doing team news. We've got Lucy here. Lucy, how are you? Go on, go through the team. Who we got? We've got Travis in goal. And then we've got Steve Cook is back in. Yeah. As captain, obviously, because he is almost best ever captain. Then we've got Lewis Cook, Mepham, Lerma, Solanke, Christy, Stacey, Kilkenny, Villain and Anthony. Steve Cook! I went to the bar and I've missed out on team news. <laughs> How you've made Steve Cook back in the opening in the starting lineup? Yeah, yeah, expected it with KO out to be fair. So yeah, um, yeah be interesting to see how he does. Back back on the right side, I guess. So yeah, bid him back in, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, kind of what I expected. It was just all on uh, whether it be KO fit or not. So be interesting, mate. He didn't go for Ibsen Rossi. No, no, big statement, but you know, Cookie's got that experience, hasn't he? Losing Kale. I wonder if he's wearing the armband. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Check uh, out on that. He's wearing the armband. He's wearing the armband. Steve, Steve Cook Steve is wearing Cook. the armband. Interesting. Looking forward to his reception, though. Yeah, absolutely looking forward to Eddie's it. He's in trouble there, by the way. Tom. I know you always like doing the team news on the vlogs, but I, th I think Lucy's probably rivaled you there, mate. Whatever, mate. It's about time she stepped up. Do you know what I mean? Lucy in. We sat here in the bell and we got Paul, Sky Blues fan. How are you, fan? Are you all right? Yeah, good. Um, early start this morning. We got out of bed at five in the morning from Worcestershire. Yeah. Up to Coventry. We've had a few beers and uh, looking forward to three points, hopefully. Oh, well. Yeah, come on. Say, who's, who's your star <laughs> player? <laughs> yeah. Who's your star player that we should be looking out for today? Well, you picked from 11, but um, Hamer's possibly carrying an injury. Yeah. Okay. Um, you'll probably be looking out for him, but Simon Moore's been exceptional in goal this season. Yeah. We, we've got a quality, quality outfit and um, really looking forward to today's game. Playing some football, not like we did against Birmingham City. Yeah. They have 15 long throws into the box with their only attack. Yeah. Let's, so let's play some football today. So you're fifth in the league at the moment. Do you think that's like an accurate gauge on how your season's going so far? Do you think that's where you're heading? Playoffs? Let me tell you, we're surprised at where we are. We've got a um, bottom four budget, but they turn up every week. The home form's exceptional. We're a little bit dodgy on the road, but we play football. So, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to today. If we lose today, I'll accept that. If we see the ball on the ground and we're playing football. But right. what I won't accept is long balls into the box, like we had against Birmingham the other week. It was terrible. So, go on then, prediction-wise, what are you going for? Uh, I'll go for I'll go for a, a draw, yeah. and I'll be happy with a five all. All right, I'll be five all. <laughs> all right, let's have a prediction from a ball with the ball then. Well, um, Paul's been a good good bloke to me, um, but I'm afraid Bournemouth. I'm very Panglossian in my outlook on our results, so I'm going three one to Bournemouth. That's what we like to hear. Paul, thanks very much, mate. That's Thank enough. you. Cheers. Good luck. It is brisk and Tom has got the gloves on. Oh, oh, oh. And, he, and, he knew, and he nearly got run over. Whoa, can you hear that on camera? Have you got vlog in this? Chloe! <laughs> Tell you what, if you're not if you're not subscribed, we're going through all this hassle. We're just trying to walk to the game and I'll get a camera. Yeah, right. this is like I mean like the uh, my oh, hair is a state. Hair. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well I mean, we ain't got hair between us, mate. <laughs> it is outrageous, isn't it? But full of drop points. Come on! 
It's a chance to kick on now. Bit of an old team, not sure how I'm going to shape up, but yeah, t chance to kick on now. I think it speaks for itself, the team talk, doesn't it? Two hundred drop points, we can kick off from here. It's I can't Earth. even hear myself. It's a hurricane it's going on. It's an Earth song. I'll tell you what's uh, not. It's not like the English to moan about the weather, but I'll tell you what, it's a bit cold for November, isn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what, breezy. Chris is scoring today. Enjoy, mate. Alright, no worries. We're through. We are through. This is the Ted McDougall stand there, ladies and gents. It's a beauty, look at it. I'm not sure whether I'm going to a football game or I'm storing my equipment. Buddy. I'm loving seeing Cookie back. I'm loving seeing him back. Oh my god. I think they underestimate how how good a feeling he brings to the side. on the gantry, look at him. Boscom! Boscom! Oh, terrible. Get in! Oh, yeah! What we got here, Steve. What we got here, talking this, this, this is delight. A, a typical half time for me. Many junior cherries meals, adorned with some lovely uh, oh, 
Complete tomato sauce there. Meal fit for a pig, that is. And you're not even having it. No, it's not even me. Hello. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm not too bad. Nice to see you over here. These are lovely surroundings, mate. I'm loving this. Yeah, lo lo the extra leg room, you like? Oh, mate, I, lo I love the extra leg room. There's, there's a seat over there that's got a plug point of its own, which wow. is amazing. That's amazing. Charger laptop, charger heated electric blanket. It's all good. Um, wasn't exactly a hot first half, though, was it? No, it was oh, not. Mate. It was not at, by any means. Uh, we had lots of the ball, uh, which was great. Uh, change of formation, I think, has caused a bit of confusion. Yeah. A few wayward passes, wayward crosses, certainly. Expecting an on-rushing player that isn't there. Yeah. But we got a goal, didn't we? Yeah, a cross come shots, you would say. And I would certainly say. Yeah. He didn't know where he was going, did he? No, he didn't have the foggiest. Uh, but, it, it, you know, we're one nil up at the best time to score. So, yeah, fingers crossed. We're building, we're going to, you know, grow into the game. How was your coffee, mate? I do, you know, I get a coffee in the, uh, from the Bomo people down in the yeah. corner here. I had a mocha and a slice, five pound, great value. Happy days, happy days. Oh, I don't that. has been sent off. Hey? Love has been sent off. It's not a penalty, but the guy was running through. He got a touch on him. He went down. And we're down to 10 men. And he misses one of the most important games of the season. And Travis is down. Yet yeah, every Bournemouth player is running across to Scott Parker. So, uh... If that's not tactical. Oh, okay then, here we go. Should have been better defensively. And Squad Blues have scored 2 1. Okay, here we go. Let's hold on then, boys. This ain't going to be pretty. Nervous. to concede, not sure if it was a intended shot or cross or what, but probably deserved on the balance of that second half. Let's go to the fan cams, see what you guys got to say. Where you 
Right, Teach. Uh, final score. <laughs> final score. Oh, look, there he is again. Uh, two all. Yes. There we go, mate. Uh, it's not great, is it? It's not great. I mean, it's amazing what a couple of beers could do. But no, it's uh, disappointing. We just keep having a chance to extend the gap, and then we mess it up, which is frustrating. And today we should have seen it out. Was a minute to go. Yeah. Yeah. Disappointing one, but there's a lot of positives before that last minute. Do you yeah. know what I mean? If we, if we look back on it a couple of days, and we'll say. Mets play well, Steve Cook play well, Lewis Cook play well, Jane Anthony play well. Yeah, down the subway. There was a, there was a lot of positives, but yeah. that last minute, you know, I, I blame Storm. What's the Storm called? Oh, uh, is it Edna uh, or yeah. Frederica or something? Whoever it is, I blame her. EFG, was it? Because you know. that goal doesn't go in without that Storm. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I blame the wind. Yeah. I'm wind out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll be all right, mate. It's, it's a frustrating one, but like I say, we've drew. Full of a drew. Same if we both won. Fuck me, I can't Where see. Where are you going? I can't see. Same if we both won. Look, this is what I'm looking at here. Yeah. Looking at our light whilst we're walking. If us and Fulham had won, we'd be in the same position if we both drew. You know what? But Steve Cook being back was a was oh, a nice and positive, wasn't it? Yeah, that was my disappointment. Was that I thought him and Mech played well, and then they ain't got a lot to show for it. It's easy now. Left. It's easy now for people to say, "Oh, we miss Kale, we miss Kelly." But I thought them two were good. I did think them two were good, yeah. and I felt they were combed with things well. And then we decided to bring Ibsen Rossi on, bring Davis on, two of the worst cameo subs I've ever seen. In my do, life. You, do you feel as though that kind of invited it? Yes. Yeah, I do, and I, I don't think they had individually didn't have good games either. I mean, don't get me wrong, Ibsen Rossi started the season brilliant. Leaf Davis had a brilliant game against Swansea, but they come on today, and I thought they both looked shaky. They come out. You know, coming into it cold, and, and it was a real. We were digging it out, and uh, it didn't do well for us. But. Right, all right, and Morgan, since you're here, Morgan, shuffling what around. can people do if they really like the channel, Morgan? Well, you can like it because it makes sense to like it. You can also hit the bell because we like the bell. It lets you know when we're Morgan likes the bell. <laughs> and uh, you can also donate by going to ASCDPodcast.com for last coffee. Superb, Morgan Scott, you rounded that off nicely. Morgan Scott's Barmy Army. We're top of we're, the league. No, we're not. We were top of the league. Oh. We've still got a gap though. Morgan, Morgan Scott, Morgan, Morgan Scott. Up the cherries, come on.